Okay, so today we will talk about how to find forces from a potential energy curve. So we have the potential energy graph below. For A, we want to find the force on the particle at each of the labeled curved segments. And again, just like all these videos, I'd encourage you to try it yourself and then check back in. So, okay, I know that force is equal to negative du dx. So that means um, I need to take the derivative of potential energy and then put a negative in front and I can get force. So to find the derivative, that is the slope of a u verse x graph. And I should put, I'll find the slope and then put a negative in front. Cool. So let's go ahead and look at it. So for a, let's see. So for a, the slope of the graph at a is rise over run, so 3 over 1.5, which is going to be 2. So x equals negative du dx. So that is negative, what? 3 over 1.5. So that is negative 2 newtons. Great. Let's look at one more point together. Um, for b, so the slope at b, whoa, it's not changing at all. It's constant. So the force is, yeah, not there. There's no force. So that is 0 newtons because the slope is zero. Great. Um, we can keep on going through this. Um, C, so it looks like the derivative will be negative. Um, and I got negative 8 to be the slope of section section C, but then we have to put a negative in front. Um, so then I got 8 newtons. And I'll just go ahead and post my answers for D, E, and F. So D, I got 1 newtons. E, I got negative 4 newtons. And F, I got zero newtons. But you can go through yourself and find the slope at each of the points. I just want to briefly talk about B. So what point in the graph below is a particle at equilibrium? So if a particle is in equilibrium, that means all the forces are balanced on it, and F net is zero. So if the only force we're talking about is the force due to this associated with this potential energy curve, any points where the force is zero. So looking at it, it looks like we have point B and F. So at all those points, um, the graph is in equilibrium. So it is going to be section B and section F. 